<laughs> eh, true. That actually does make more sense. I've never tried to sort of balance it before because it's basically loading the inbound getting balanced between all the hit the air arms. So yeah. whether or not it'll actually do a good job or not is a different question. I mean, it'll balance it, but whether it's worth it is a question. <coughs> Alright, so cool. they're up and running and they're outputting. And they just start loading, and we just put fuel in the train. Which actually, we can do fuel the train at this end anyway, the coal supply's already here, so. Let's take a split off of here. Split it there. Bring your coal supply up. For the trains. <laughs> Alright, uh, inserters. Let's put one in the power range. I put two down then. I, I did. Two. I know. <clears throat> that should keep the trains supply because it shouldn't ever run out of that distance to go travel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now for the other end of the, of the track, I'm going to need the train. I'm back in a minute. I'm just going to use the station down and then I'll come back. No! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the train. Everyone tries to jump a train. Uh. I'm not. Back that up a bit, there we go. Right, we drop the station down. Right. This doesn't split correctly. I think something looked weird about this. About what, the build itself? Because the way it's the way it was split, only um only the bottom lane was going to the bottom and the top two are going to the top one. Which is not what I want. No. Which okay. Which is why so, that makes sense. Now we've got a station here. We can actually make it in the train for moves. So we'll go to both. When empty, go to. Oh, the you front. didn't make enough room for the uh, for storage. Storage. Yeah, having a stockpile to properly use. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can think about that. I didn't. I should have backed off a little bit more. So, when you get there, you're empty. Do that. When you get there and you are full, not empty, do the one. So, when you get there, when you're full, move to there. Or. Or inactivity equals 20 seconds. Because this is when stock inserts are actually work out really well. Uh, I'm out of steel, so I can't do the steel chests. Okay. Train on the move. Uh, I'm off the track, so we're good. <clears throat> I appreciate the warning, though. <laughs> <laughs> I won't find out the same way the exterminator does. Yeah, but when you get all the trains moving, it's a different matter entirely. There we go. Yeah. Do I have any... I mean, Oh, I can make enough steel chests, actually. How many do you need in total? Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, twelve. Okay, crafting them. There you go. There we go. Awesome. Right, I set the train's um, plan to basically wait here until it's full, or the 20 seconds of no activity, or 120 seconds have passed. So okay. basically, if it's even if it gets to a point where it's filling up slowly, it'll still bring iron uh, ore to the uh, to the smeltery. Yeah, that's good rules. Follow for that. How full are we on the tanks right now? Ooh, we're not about to fill up pretty quickly. Then we get to the other end, and it will wait till it's empty at the other end. Do we have stack inserters? We do not have stack inserters. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh yeah, we don't. Oh wait. Before I go on this train adventure, I should probably pick this up. <coughs> now we're up and we're ready for train. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could always uh, send it there for forcibly. And then send mm -hmm. it back when we're done, because we don't need to be at this end anymore. For now. Although we'll, then we'll need uh, protecting the guns at some point, because it doesn't have anything around the, iron, the mine. No, it doesn't. That's where our power is. 
too. So yeah, the power itself is over there anyway. The power itself is semi-protected. It's got guns that have got ammo in them, but there's no walls around them. But the yeah. now there's extra pollution from those mines. Okay. Right, because the steam wasn't producing pollution. Not much, because we're not using that. Yeah, compared to having a whole bunch of things there. Yeah. So they're down for positioning. I'm just going to run up here, grab myself some uh, more turrets, some some walls, and head over there to protect that area. Okay. Need the brick, please. Craft all the walls. A couple of gates. Uh, turrets, 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 turrets. I have 12 turrets on me. I just need ammo for the turrets as well. Alright. I will take the train back when I go back as well so we can uh, get it fully set up. Oop, research is done! That's all we need to do. Logistic bots would be very, very nice to have and they would give us the raw bots potentially. Stack and serious. The research. Well, they're there. There you go. I'll be back in about an hour or so. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the minimum time between this train arriving at this drop and set off again is just one. It's two minutes, so uh, there's always a train on its way somewhere. There we go. All right, turrets and walls. Hello. Much. Turrets, 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 turrets. All right, there's a lot of trees here surrounding this area, which is absolutely perfect because it means that they'll slow the bites down. Hmm. Put some turrets in there. Know, I thought they made one of these. What's that? The unloader. Um, a, a balanced unloader, or at least a semi-balanced unloader. Balanced enough where it's not gonna like cause issues and stuff. Oh yeah. Three, four, five, six. That's fine. We're just gonna do this instead. Okay, so they're all in there, I can give them ammo. Everybody likes ammo, especially if you're a turret. Put a few turrets down as well, which uh, should hopefully help it. There we go, turrets are all up and running. This area is now defended as long as the bikers go for that section there. And if they don't, they'll bad bikers. There we go. Oh, my train's left for me. No. If only I had all of a car. You do realize I'm going to jump in this car, drive on the train track to see line I know has got no uh, things on it, and get hit by a train on the way back. Very possible. Highly likely. It's only actually to happen if the train was to be emptied. I don't know if the things are running, you see. Pick up the car. And I did make a couple of gates as well just to help the train be protected a bit more. There we go. Actually, it didn't do too bad a job of emptying it.
I'm just making this stuff up on the fly. But you've got a lot of room here, why not just start the splicing row by row? Because you've got this one here you forgot about. No, I'm, I'm combining. I'm using the splitters as a binary. Having these two lines combined to one. Yeah, yeah. what I'm saying is why not uh, move it over a bit and split them. Yeah, but never mind. Because I'm more about this little wiggly bit here. But I see why. Yeah, I kind of see why. I don't need underground to help you out with, so. I've only got the, uh, yeah, only got the yellow one, so we're quick. That's what I'm missing. Right, let's grab some real quick. Get. It's gonna be a crazy setup, but yeah, that's why I've been doing this entire series, so. <laughs> it should surprise. Well, we could do this series now, but we need to get some oil set up running for batteries, so it's not worth doing just yet. So. Let's Stack go. Inserter? They're already done. Second inserter was completed a minute okay. ago. Oh, cool. So, robots. 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 <clears throat> because of how, uh, actually, yeah, might be good idea. Because of how um, bad these are, anyway, at output, might be combining these down to two lines, anyway. Might be a good idea. No, it's okay. fine to make it. No, I was thinking more if we give, if we give you two spare pieces, you have two feeding lines oh, here on the, on the balance, wouldn't you, to work with? I should probably get down to three. Give now it's balancing right now. Yeah, <clears throat> that should give you two lines to work with. Then if we just remove that and just uh, ding, ding ding ding, send that one off. There you go. You've got two lines for yourself to. For your balance that's come through. Okay. I should be able to. And, you, and given now these are empty, you can tap into one of these if you want to as well. There we go. Tap that one in. There we go. I'm actually looking at this and thinking we could actually put all of these in mind here <laughs> onto one belt because they're not even saturated in two belts. Yeah, they're not saturating two belts at all. <laughs> so we made these combined into one belt, and then give that bouncer below access to all. We need to do a splitter for this. We just do something like that. Yeah, exactly. And then just. Oh yeah, got that. There we go. Because yeah, they're saturated now, and they're building up a little bit of backlog actually. But that's not too bad actually. Because then, the, when the backlog kicks off, it'll be good. okay. We're good. Yeah, that's good. That didn't take too long either. <laughs> and the train's gone, which means yeah, and the uh, belt's empty. This side now. The lives are in my inventory now. You up? I have a bunch of iron in my inventory. I'm getting rid of now. <laughs> I have a lot of copper somehow. How do I get that many pets copper in my inventory? Mm. I haven't been near the copper build. I should have boxed very, very shortly. One, two, brick. I require more bricks. Oh, we have that little thing here. Awesome. Just take those then. Get rid of the metal plates by dropping them into a furnace and letting the furnace empty itself. It's the way I dump crap from my infantry. Oh, it's really not. Okay. There we go. If a player is putting something in a chest, it should just assume that even though a chest is limited, that I should be able to put it in the chest. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to put it in there by hand, you should override the limits anyway. Yeah. Where are they hitting now? So long does the train... Oh, that's the first time I hit there. Good job to put the defense in place. They're hitting the power supply. What's that? They're hitting the power supply turrets that I just put in place. Where's my car? 
I have my car on my tool belt. <coughs> Make sure it's properly. Um, grab some ammunition. Do you want to go get rid of a, a battery base over there? Sure. Because it, it's near the power supply enough that that little smelt, that little uh, mining area, just uh, woke them up. <laughs> they were indeed. Oh, okay, I grabbed it. Do you need some ammo? Because I got the uh, extra sacks. Yeah, I only have 38 right now. There you go. Whoa. South. Train station. Yep. I guess that turret that wasn't defended, so they went for it. I might have spare turrets as well, so we've got a spare turret put in this uh, hole. Uh, how many turrets do I have? I have... Let's put these two turrets out and then we're able to pick through. I have zero. I have zero turrets on me. <laughs> we are not the best at this, are we? We need plastic for stack inserters? Really? That's nuts. We need advanced circuits with them. Oh. <sighs> Damn you, progression! <laughs> Can we just say it's a good idea we didn't set the um, expensive mode on? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're not used to this yet. Right. Where's our other, where's our turrets? Right is crazy? Are they further down maybe? Turrets, so they're on the bottom line. It's further down. Oh, here we are. I was like, how must be going crazy? <laughs> oh we got a whole thing of turrets. Why is this should be a stack of fifty if it's uh oh, no. right. that's fine. I'm gonna double wall this turret as well. So we're able to get to it so easily. Well, if we get to... Why are these not saturated? Do we need to add more furnaces to this? Four, six, Probably, eight. actually. It's only 16. How many do we need? Isn't it 24 or something like that? Uh, bikes are coming back. Yeah, see them. Let's finish. Let's do lab research. Why not? Okay, why did my car not shoot when I did that? <laughs> I just sat with space by down, they didn't actually start firing until I moved the vehicle by hand. <laughs> Turret. Oh, I'm on the car. Okay. Let's over this. Can you put some power in the top turret, please? I don't have enough to survive off turrets. I got a certain fire on myself for my vehicle. Oh, actually, no, I got a certain fire spare on me, sorry. Here. You got enough? I've got 100, 100 in your vehicle. How are you doing? I got 75. Right, I have spares. There you go. Because it's better to have the vehicles fully equipped here because if they're going to be doing the work. <laughs> Where's the base we're taking it out? The one over by the power? Yeah, if you go to the map and look we'll get, when we get there. Just above the power supply, there's a small base, or well, that's sending in raids on a regular yep. basis now. Oops. That's broke the power. Don't mind the destroyed power, bro. That's not <laughs> important. Yeah, if we have bots, they'd fix it, so. <laughs> right, how do we get across here? Yep, walking, okay. <laughs> well then. Someone have grenades. <laughs> uh, watch out for my name when you're throwing stuff. I'm in the middle of the trees at the moment. Right, put the car back down, resupply it with ammo, resupply it with stuff because the game can't understand the idea of putting stuff back in that I put in, in the first place. Not bitter at all. Here we go! Not bitter at all. I <laughs> <laughs> that that was you know, a little tidbit there. Are definitely out now. There we go, one base. That's the one that's been causing most of the raids, but the one above us is also inside the pollution. Are you alright for repairs? Because you're uh, in we yellow right now. On the car. <clears throat> I thought you were in yellow, so. Well, you have the grenades, it's gone off! <laughs> Alright, north it is. Although, 
There's a base uh, west as well, which I didn't see until just now. It's right on an all patch, so it doesn't show up on radar very easily. Could do with, like, you know, if it won't copyright, we'll go with, like, the Revelry music or something, you know. <laughs> I give music I have permission to use, which is what I use in my videos, but I don't play it while I'm playing it. <laughs> you playing the game. Okay, let's halt. Let's see. Right. Pollution wise, nothing else is inside the pollution, but that base that I spotted a minute ago, which isn't in the radar, will might might possibly be down here. Yeah, I see. It's not on the radar right now, but it's uh it's it's there because I thought we were coming up. There. Just about west right now. I'm running low on grenades. This one here. It's not. I'm it, on just slightly north from here. Yeah, just slightly north. There's a bit of finished part of the forest, so if you're running low on grenades, it's quite best place to lob a grenade at. <coughs> anyway, it's on radar now. <laughs> it's right there too. Yeah, there they go. Oh, trees! I mean, if they beefed up the car. Yeah. I think I would have died normally. <laughs> At least the car would have. Oh, crap. I made it so bad. <laughs> and there we go. That's the biggest car change that way. A turret than it does a car anymore. <laughs> the one thing it I'm just... glad the car is armored. Yeah, I mean, if. Uh... Imagine power armor did damage when you hit a tree. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think that's all the ones that's inside the pollution range. Let's hit that one at the south. Make sure it's out of the pollution range. The one to the south is actually in the pollution range as well. Do you want to do a fancy trip down that one? Yeah. And then we're, okay, then we're kind of safe from cool all the ones to the here. south. Then. It's just the ones to the uh, east that cause, cause our base problems. Got a, got a uh, worm. A worm in there. Okay, focus on the worm. Okay, can you not shoot me? Oh, not shoot me, I actually ran out of fuel. Okay. <laughs> and taken care of. Yep. You're out of fuel, by the way. Yep. Nope. <clears throat> well, we yep. both had three... Uh, interesting, we yep. both put three coal into our vehicles, and we both ran out. Slightly different times, but uh, I've run out in combat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is not where it came in. Uh, I went north because okay. you made that path before. Yeah, I thought this, there was a path down here. But nah, there's yeah. Path down I tried to go here. south at first and I thought there was no path, so I went north. But then you were there with the thing anyway. I have one grenade. Which I'm not clear out any of the trees because I don't have the uh, grenade upgrade yet. <laughs> Probably not. I could just damage them all. And home. Really? <laughs> really? What? Well, I did a power slide into the wall in my car. Because I was trying to come to a stop rapidly and I ended up just skimming the wall after it stopped. And yes. when I jumped out of the car, it put me inside the uh, enclosure. Yeah, in the wall. <laughs> yeah. So it was packed like there. When you jump out, it put me inside because it was that like, close to the wall. Oh, look. The bike is already over there. So when we were doing here. the racing and I crashed and the, the car blew off and I was inside the wall. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Where's the repair picks? Let's get it, guys. Ooh, that last turret's almost out. Alright, you see that base? That is a pretty big base over there. Is it one we can deal yeah, with? It's really getting tough in the. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to get something. On the right side there. Right. Are we going for another. I'm going to do a bit of scouting. We have enough speed. Uh, if we're gonna attack to them, we really should do it during the daytime, where we can see them. Yeah, probably. I don't see any worms on this base, though, right? That's oh, unfortunately, yeah. pretty much every base in this sector is inside the pollution range. Yeah. Probably keep getting attacks on the side. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Heading back for repairs. And so that the viewers can actually see the battle. <clears throat> there we go, daytime is coming! Right, give me a second. 
Boom, boom. I, uh... That's a tree. That basically says there's no worms in that little base. You're right, there's no worms in that, but the base right behind it, it has worms. Okay. Alright, uh, I bring in friends to me. Remember, by the way. Just I grilled the base a little bit, just to like the our turret still doesn't work. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I could have slowed down. Didn't. All right, here we go. Whoop! <laughs> Every bite that hits you is your own fault now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's start picking bases off, shall we? Yep. Whoa, I got a lot of them there. No! 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 Peter, no! No! Save me! <laughs> no! Avenge me! Avenge me! And respawned. <laughs> uh, I got taken out because I drove into one of their buildings. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I think that's well, that was interesting. And not what they're attacking. Nothing, eh? I think now's a good time to hit a stop on the recording, by the way, at 1 hour 48. Yeah, I think uh, that was that, that was, was exciting. That was, a, that was a fun ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just making my way back to the main base, so I'm actually at least in the place where I can restock pretty quickly next time. I'm going to make my way over there as well. I was uh, not, not as expected. I'm going to have to make a... We should just ask Gaffin to come on real quick and make us one of our counters. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ask Gaffin to come on really quick to make a counter, it's end up saying and building stuff because you know what Factorio's like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm again, I'm not entirely against, say true. <laughs> yeah, not, not against that idea actually. <laughs> Factorio light. <laughs> Factorio light. Me <laughs> uh. stocking all the things I usually keep on me anyway. Because I keep a lot of resources on me, because, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Okay. <sighs> well, that was interesting. <sighs> right. Um, I am missing just one thing. Is that where our bodies are? It does not. No. I do so I'm just going to make a mark. These guys are evil, don't go near them. <laughs> that our, our bodies are somewhere where death is marked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, machine gun crafting. Because I'm going to need one of those to replace it. Ammunition is in. Which was a way to actually truly destroy something, because I did get rid of your pistols permanently. Yeah, it would be nice. Well, you know, that's why I was saying, like, having countered. It's like, every time I die, I put them in the chest. Well, I do to just keep the pistols on me, because then when I die, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we have on the research? Uh, I think actually we could benefit from that one right now. Standard insert again, insert capacity. capacity. <clears throat> well, given we don't have stack inserters built yet, and um, our trains are using fast inserters, it would make sense to get them running a bit faster at least. Can we not pick up so many of these guys? I, have picked, I picked up stacks of 50s and 100 of the. 200 of the, tr of the convey belt because I tend to use quite a lot of them. I always pick them up from the red zone as well in the uh, in the chest so that they don't start refilling it. <laughs> this wasn't uh, capped. Wasn't it? That's the thing. So when, no, it wasn't. So when you put when you picked them up, it was you picked up all of them. It was like a thousand some odd belt. It's like I need belt, not that much belt. <laughs> and now they're attacking the guns again. Never ending wave of death, doom, and destruction. That's how it right, is. We're going to end this, right? <laughs> it's, it's Factorio, it's what happens. It's like, we're going to end it. We've got to an hour and 40 odd minutes, two hours later. 
Uh, I'm just making sure their, their ammo's pretty good. I just, yeah, their ammo's okay. Could do a resupply on one of the guns though, definitely. I'm gonna need a repair pick because I've got one on me. Yeah. But you need a resupply, so I'll give you some of my personal stash. There you go. These are I created exactly one. <laughs> okay. And just I'm gonna next. stay right here in this glowiness and Actually, hope that I get some. We have powers. a lookout wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little but, wheel. Well, what if I get super? What if I get superpowers? You don't know. <laughs> it might happen. <clears throat> well, except how because you logged out in the uranium field. What is your superpower? <laughs> I glow in the dark, and thus I don't need lamps anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a third arm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you think about what it, what, it from a factorial point of view, what is your superpower? I have the ability to reach something four meters away and put some, something in it. <laughs> 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 All right, that's uh, been fun. <sighs> it has got quite a lot done this time around as well. I just got more research from running. We do we got uh, the military going, so we're good on that. Trains are from running. We got the military. Got trains. We got trains. <laughs> Finally, trains. Yeah, I love trains. A train, but still. <laughs> well, it's got two engines on it, so it's trains. <laughs> but, yeah, it's two locomotives, so therefore it is multiple trains. <laughs> and we're actually, because of that addition we did with the iron, we actually have a supply large enough to the point of you know, the backlogging on our iron. Like, we're probably maxed out on that, so that's good. We can actually extend our iron forge a little bit. So, yeah. Actually, even the actual iron plates themselves are backed up nicely, so. Steel's backed yep. up, which should be the only time we ever say that. Cover, steel. Yeah, every, oh, good. all of our raw material supplies are all backed up right now, which is great. <clears throat> yep. Maybe you got to work on um, something that won't be backed up, being oil. <laughs> Has oil ever backed up on anyone's ever? Um, it did on mine, but that's only because I was not producing nearly as much as I should have been. <laughs> like, I should have been using it for processing units and I wasn't. Right, okay. But for now, this is a cry and shame, and Peter Taylor... Signing out. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to get notifications, make sure to hit that bell. You can also check out our website for more information on different games. If you would like to support us, check out our Patreon page for more information on how to do so.